On May 19th, Temple University's School of Medicine hosted Dr. Oz's 15-minute physical in Philadelphia. So this is uh, Dr. Oz's Philadelphia 15-minute physical. And today we are uh, had 1,000 patients register, and we are, it's really a day of prevention, really figuring out how we're going to get the message across about preventing chronic disease. Uh, we're able to collect the data in real time and then report that on the same day. And this is something we've never been able to do before. This is the first time we're able to do something with the data the same day meaningfully. Uh, we're able to package up the data in a structured way with the help of practice fusion and uh, report on that data the same day. Uh, we had visuals created that we could report on uh, so we could actually talk to the uh, city leadership about the health status, compare it to other cities, compare it to the national health trends. Um, and then on the other side of this operational standpoint, I'm actually the clinical director for this event, is I just knew that we weren't being able to see the volume that we wanted to see despite having all the great benefits of being able to analyze this data in real time. Uh, just operation just wouldn't have worked uh, on paper or with having to manually key things uh, in for the labs, especially because uh, you know, this is prone for errors with this high volume, this number of people, you know, people that are newly trained to do this. So we teamed up with some of the top uh, point of care and health technology partners. Uh, from the point of care side, we had Alir and their Cholestec LDX machines, be able to spit out cholesterol, or lipid panel plus uh, glucose uh, point of care with just a finger stick. And we uh, report the numbers within five and a half minutes. And it actually automatically connected. Uh, we had a direct link through uh, a laptop into the practice fusion EHR. And so we don't have to worry about any sort of user error on at least the data transfer side of things. We knew we were going to get chronic disease in, in, in Philadelphia, in this area of Philadelphia, North Philadelphia. But we didn't, uh, the, the extent of hypertension and obesity and you know objective waist circumference that was linked to things like metabolic syndrome and uh, chronic inflammation. The extent that we saw that today in Philadelphia, the data really just spoke uh, a thousand words, you know, more than a thousand words. So. I was invited through Practice Fusion to be a volunteer here to help with Dr. Oz's 15-minute physical to screen patients. My role was uh, first to train uh, the Temple physicians how to use Practice Fusion as uh, I've been in practice for uh, now using Practice Fusion for over the past year and, uh, and they wanted me to be like one of the super users to come by and help train the physicians. However, I've been actually uh, doing the consultations uh, uh, after the patients have been screened uh, and we were short on some physicians, so they asked me to participate in that role. So I've been screening patients here as well. We were doing the 15-minute physical program here in Philadelphia, and it's one that we're going to do around the country because we believe in 15 minutes we can quickly give you some of the basic numbers you need to determine how healthy you are and what you might want to do about it. And to be clear, we can actually do the tests in less than 15 minutes. What we actually want to do is spend a little time talking to people about what the numbers mean. So in the 15 minutes we spend with them, we quickly gather information about their weight, uh, their, and their risk factors related to their weight. So that includes high blood pressure, your cholesterol numbers, and obviously your blood sugar. Uh, we gain those with the traditional ways. It takes us very little effort to gather that information. It's not very expensive. And then we electronically tabulate that data. So not only do you get a printout when you walk out of here with some advice about what to do, but we actually have a report card for the city of Philadelphia. Likewise, we'll make report cards for other cities. I'm a big fan of Dr. Oz, so I know I signed up on his website and I received an email last couple of days ago. It's wonderful. It's a really quiet, open, calm kind of atmosphere. The people are great. It was really quick. It is 15 minutes, so that was good. A little blood work. Um, found out I had a really high HDL and a really low LDL, so I'm really excited. <laughs> but yeah, just um, blood. They did my weight and blood pressure. And where do you go from here? Do you get, a, you get a printout of your results? Yes, yes. I'm waiting for that. I'm going to probably frame it. That's how happy I am. <laughs> but yeah, I'm waiting for the printout, and I think I'm going to speak with another, with a doctor or something like that. I think I probably share the sentiments of almost all practicing doctors that we have some huge gaps um, in practicing medicine, so much so that we've made it hard to do the right things. So as a classic example, when patients come to see me in my office, and I'm a cardiac surgeon, I still operate at New York Presbyterian, 
I often know very little about them, except what my referring doctor has said. There's no longer, larger repository of trusted information. So I, I feel like Columbo doing detective work, just trying to piece together the, the, the elements. And so if there are ways for us to do a better job collecting information before the patient walks in the office, it'll make their experience better, it'll make ours better, because we can begin to triage what needs what's needed. So in fact, I've been looking at a lot of uh, innovative ideas, some with the Department of Defense. You know, why can't we ask you leading questions, the right kind of leading questions, what, ones that take you to your diagnosis and remind me as a physician along the way of some things I may not have thought of as a diagnosis. Those kinds of tools which now we have the opportunity to begin to, to, to innovatively use in our office practices could be help, hugely helpful. Remember, my, my practice is a seven physician practice. You know, I happen to oh, be a service. group of seven heart surgeons with a lot of other people who work around us, including physician's assistants and nurse practitioners and all that. But it's a small group of doctors trying to coalesce our, our energies and practice as best as we can. So we can say your city department of health says that 34 percent of the people here are hypertensive. Now we actually have our own independent data arguing that it's closer to 38, 39 percent, but at our clinic 47 percent, almost half the people walked in those front doors of this experience we've been having uh, actually were hypertensive. That starts to give fodder, ammo, to uh, uh, people who are involved in creating policies that change our health. And that's what they need. They don't just need us complaining about the fact that it's common. They actually want us to be able to reduce the number by, uh, by giving them ammo so they can make policy changes. Health is critically important uh, to the city. And we know, unfortunately, and, and you may have seen the a documentary just the other day, and we've been talking about this issue, and certainly Dr. Schwartz, who is our, uh, not only our health commissioner, but the deputy mayor for health and opportunity, and he's also an MD, MDHN, uh, MBA, um, very focused uh, on the pediatric side, but uh, helping to advise me about uh, health issues uh, here in the city. So high a percentage, uh, two-thirds uh, of our adults and 40% of our children, overweight or obese, uh, here in the city of Philadelphia. All five of those measurements are something we can actually do something about. I mean, I, you know, there are world issues, there are national issues, uh, and then there are local issues. And we can actually do something about those five indicators. Uh, and medical uh, students uh, and doctors uh, who are here with us today, you're helping to make people better. Uh, the things that you did earlier today, you know, a bunch of folks were in, uh, many did not have health insurance, and you helped them with that as well as a couple who actually needed uh, to go to the emergency room because of their indicators as well. We can win this fight, and we'll do it through education, we'll do it through information, we'll do it through uh, continuing uh, to raise the profile on these kinds of issues and have more of this kind of activity. And so it gives me great pleasure and honor to introduce uh, Dr. Oz here in Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Dr. Mike, thank you, Stan. Please take the light today. Uh, one of those folks around the emergency room had a year ago over 55, uh, actually, which is one third of what's normal is, one third of what most of us had. She was bleeding from her uterus. Uh, she had been admitted to the hospital so far, okay, and they're deciding what to do at the EBO today tonight. So thank you again, Mike, and Bosch and I for being part of this entire board. We launched the concept of traveling the nation to do these 50 minute physicals because we recognize that we are in the change business. Mayor Nutter, that we have first, you guys are in change business. And we need to change a couple fundamental realities. We have to make it easier to do the right thing in America. And we believe this 15 minute physical concept will do that. We spent five of those minutes doing the actual testing and 10 minutes talking to folks about why these numbers are important, what they can do about it. These events are about hope. They're not threats, they're not designed to scare people, they're designed to give people the power to show up in their own lives. When we speak about food deserts, when we speak about the limitations people sometimes perceive in their lives because they don't think they can control their health, uh, we're talking about changing fundamentally where they see themselves in their lives. Because if they can control what's happening in here, all this out here becomes changeable as well. So we end up with your programs, you're actually creating an activist group who will go out and show a different path for all of us in America. But a television show is a bully pulpit. It's, it gives you a chance to shout, to really change communities. You have to have troops on the ground. That's what the city of Philadelphia has done in the mayor that is leadership. That's what Temple University has done by allowing us to visit you. That's what Fox 29 does by becoming a health station that can talk about these things at the local level where people are listening. 